This morning on The Dish, we take you to the Italian countryside and a cooking school started by Americans, but Italian at its core. George and Linda Myers are the couple behind Cook in Tuscany, turning their love for the region into an opportunity for others, from the visitors who experience Tuscany through the eyes and palates of locals to those sharing the country's treasures with George and Linda's guests. Not bad for the Myers, who didn't even speak the language before making Italy home. Their willingness to take a chance, creating what for some is a trip of a lifetime. Nestled in the Tuscan countryside is this villa, known as La Chiusa. All of it, put it all in. Tutta. The former oil mill built in the fourth century has taken on new life. So that's this garlic. It's it's a little bit sweeter. As a haven for food lovers. We'll be able to taste it both ways. The experience, called Cook in Tuscany, offers a week-long immersion in the region's cuisine. I make all my own extract. The founders, not Italians, but Americans. So if you were to dig in there, you would see that this truffle was around a little hair like roots. A couple from Virginia who fell in love with the country and culture. Everybody has a purpose. <laughs> You are living what people fantasize about. Yes. We feel very fortunate that we do get to call this home, and every day we wake up and we think we're living a dream. Yes, and I work for my wife, so there you go. <laughs> we all should it. be that lucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah, he's okay. very Linda. Yes. Yes. George and Linda Myers are high school sweethearts who've been married for 38 years. Before moving here, Linda was a kindergarten teacher. George, a retired Air Force pilot who ran a business development firm in Washington, D.C. Both passionate about travel. Before iPhones and before Google Maps, we would get out the paper map yes. <laughs> and we would actually go, let's go north, let's go south, let's go that way. And we would just drive. We would. We were in southern Spain once and we ended up in Morocco. So we don't plan much, we just go. Go. Italy topped their list of favorite vacation spots until Linda made a life changing suggestion in 2011. What if they quit their jobs, sold their house, and moved to Tuscany? And I said, well, Worst thing could happen, Linda, we live in Italy for a year. Yeah. And two weeks later, we were here. Two weeks later, Linda was living in the village mm -hmm. without Wi-Fi and all that. No Wi-Fi. Didn't a know plan? the language. No, nah, we Nothing. didn't have a plan. We, we did not have a real plan. Speak any Italian? No. She didn't know. But I figured it out real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Melanzane, which is the eggplant parm. Oh. Within two years, George and Linda began connecting visitors with locals for cooking classes. Antonetta over there. The start of Cook in Tuscany. Gianni means turn. As their popularity grew, so did the business, with the couple purchasing La Cusa for its home base in 2018. And I think sometimes people have in their mind, if you'd come in here, you'd change it and no. Americanize it. Absolutely And not. this is not, you are no. just wrapping yourselves within the community. Yes. We are in their place and we love their place and we want to make sure we keep their place just the way they like yeah. it. Yes. Visitors pay about $4,000 to spend seven days and six nights at La Cusa. The price tag includes lots of food and wine and daily trips around Tuscany, both culinary and cultural. And we book about two years out wow. for cooking Tuscany. Okay. And I have people who will send me $150 a month. And this is a trip of a lifetime for them. And so every week has to be fantastic. Yes. This must be a bucket list experience. It must. Spunia, kitchen. Which is the motivation for excursions like this. A truffle hunt led by a Jack Russell Terrier named Spugna, or Sponge. Look at that, look, 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 look. On the vast grounds of Tenementi Andreucci. You notice yeah. these are only like six inches under? A nearby vineyard. <laughs> We're lucky enough to be in their vineyard and at their home. After that, a seven course wine tasting paired with small plates led by vintner Flavio Andreucci. When you say Prosecco, you want to identify immediately a geographic area. A seventh generation winemaker who met George and Linda when they first moved to town. To me, it seems special because they haven't tried to make it American here. Well, honestly, 
it's not easy and then surprise us because how they fast they learn honestly to be really in deep understanding our our tradition so actually they are running a very successful business and they share their business with not only for us with all the community around us Back at Lacusa, one of the week's highlights is some time in the kitchen with Nona and Tonetta. The palm of your hand. If you want to learn how to make pasta, it's a Nona. It's the Nona. Definitely. Yeah. They've been doing it since they were four. We laugh sometimes because measurements are different. You know, they believe in like pouring the bag of flour, pouring the, a coffee cup of water. Right. There is now. Yeah. But yeah. every time theirs comes out perfect. And we try to tell our people, like, wait till Wednesday. You're really going to start feeling right. it and yeah. you will know. And that's how to when do you're going to know the consistency. That's when you're going to know. An intuition developed while guests help create the very meals they eat, as I discovered firsthand with this typical Tuesday lunch. Among the six courses, melanzane, a fried eggplant, which we started our cooking lesson with hours earlier. Polonona, a roasted chicken. Peachy, hand rolled by our cooking class, and salsa alione. Tuscan biscotti, which is cantucci, traditionally made with almonds, and panna cotta. To me and to George, there's nothing better than when we gather everybody and we sit around the table and we get to know our guest and yeah. they invite us to their homes and we get to do yes. that. And it, it, to me, it's just an amazing experience. Yeah. It's the Lacusa community, which George and Linda have cultivated. One New Jersey native, Teresa Paterno, embraced on one of her first trips since losing her husband to a heart attack. You're traveling alone, but it doesn't feel like from watching that you feel alone here. Absolutely not. From the very beginning, I felt like I was at home. And seeing George and Linda's success has also served up some inspiration. I want to own a bed and breakfast. It's been a dream of mine and my late husband's for a very long time. So being here has given me the confidence to pursue that in a greater way. Wow. I'm a baker, so I'm like, uh, I could do this. They did it. I could do this. And they give you the courage to say that to yourself. Right. I call myself and George life changers because we literally changed our life. And we changed the path, and we changed it in a positive direction. It doesn't mean selling everything and moving to an island. No. There's little steps. What are you doing? Absolutely. Everybody can get there. It feels like somebody who comes here for a week gets a little of that, maybe. They do. And I really try to encourage that in people. Like, don't put yourself in that little space. Open it up. You don't have to move to Italy. You might just want to take an art class in your hometown, and that's okay. Right. Yeah. But do what makes you happy. Food and wine make me happy. The wine is from Tenementi Andrucci for you guys. So while you're enjoying, I'll tell you this, Teresa, who we meet in the piece, since we shot, she now has partnered with a couple bed and breakfasts in New Jersey. She's a baker, and she is sort of on that path to trying to find her happiness as well. George and Linda are infectious uh, in their joy and happiness at the best time. Let's book for two years from now. Let's go. <laughs> lemon. We've got a lemon chocolate. The, we didn't make any of these. Doesn't matter. We got it's some delicious. biscotti, but, but yes, it's it doesn't delicious. matter. Enjoy it. All right. <laughs> the Dish is sponsored by Oceana Cruises. Your world, your way.